The next of our presenters is Stevie No from the Institute of Science, University of Waikato. The title of the presentation, Nectar to Honey, Honey to Money. Honey, 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 manuka honey. It is our national liquid gold. It will heal an open wound when antibiotics simply can't help and it sells for up to $600 a kilogram. But what is it even made of? And what makes manuka honey so damn good? The short answer is nectar. Nectar is a liquid candy that flowers produce to pay insects for their pollination work. So bees like those little ones fly from flower to flower, drinking up as much of the sweet stuff as they can, like they're on a pub crawl, Take it, back, take it back to their hive and turn it into honey. But as we know, not all manuka honeys are equal. You've probably heard of a UMF value. UMF 5, UMF 10, UMF 20 plus. You know, why does it differ? One of the major reasons is the quality of that nectar that the bees collect. And it stands to logic. If bees make honey from nectar, then honey quality is related to nectar quality. And that's what I'm interested in the quality of that nectar. So for my research, I'm acting like a bee and I'm going on a massive pub crawl. Um, but really, I am acting like a bee. I'm collecting a whole lot of nectar, except instead of turning it into honey, I'm turning it into a 40,000 word thesis and it's gonna be way sweeter than honey. <laughs> so, and um, so what we've found so far looks like this. So that this graph is how much nectar a manuka flower makes from the day it opens till the petals fall off. So we know how much nectar is being made. The next step is how good is that nectar? Is it high quality nectar that's going to make high UMF honey? And the way we do this is by quantifying the amount of specific chemical compounds in the nectar. And in particular, one called DHA, which becomes the main bioactive ingredient in manuka honey. So I, I want to know, how does the quality of the nectar change from a hot day to a cold day, from a sunny day to a cloudy day? I want to be able to tell my bee friends when the best day is to drink. So that only end up with the head in the beehive toilet like that one there. <laughs> so the quality of the nectar is highly variable and, and we need to know why. We need to know why the DHA is even in the nectar so that we can tell people who own the manuka plants what they can expect in terms of the nectar and honey from their plants and when to expect it. So the next time you're in the supermarket or the health store and you see your manuka honey, I want you to think nectar. Thank you. Thanks, Stevie. Judges. Thank you, Stevie. Um, I was really um, quite impressed the way you took us from so damn good to how good and why so good. Uh, and that seemed to be the, the, the coverage of the three minutes that you had available. So. Great transition from one question to the next. Yes, thanks, Stevie. I think um, what you've covered is the versatility of a, a rather important resource to New Zealand, but not just that, but the importance of variables in terms of climate and the like. So it's something that often I think we can take for granted, um, but you've covered a little bit more around that. So well done. Congratulations. Thank you, Stevie.